Hello, this is Rio De La Vista, and I'm here at Ventero Open Press in San Luis, Colorado, to interview wonderful artist and community instigator, Randy Pijuan. And uh, we are going to talk today about the Rio Grande Headwaters Land Trust's Keep the Rio Grande Grand Art Show and Sale, which is going to be August 15th in South Fork, Colorado. Thank Absolutely. you for hosting me here today, Randy. My pleasure. Welcome to Ventero. Well, um, we're so excited to have you in our art show again this year. This is our second annual one, and uh, maybe you could just give us a little background on your early days, your origins as an artist. Um, I was painting from a real early age, from like uh, when I was three, uh, three years old. I remember my first paintings when I was five. I painted with my grandfather who was down in New Mexico, and he had a studio down there. So uh, my connection with art goes all the way back to my grandparents and my great-grandfather and my aunts and uncles who were all artists and uh, so they were always encouraging the arts in the family so it just seemed natural that I would go to art school and um, eventually I studied painting in Italy uh, went to Italy and uh, painted there for two years and um, what I call a figure boot camp you know where they had us doing 80 drawings a day and four paintings a day and, and Luckily, um, I was drunk most of the time, so I barely remember it. But um, well, the wine was the, wine's good, the wine was a lot cheaper than the water. We'll let me tell you. We painted our art show too. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, and you paint a lot better on wine too. Oh, so yeah, uh, I'm sure. But anyways, uh, I came back and and started uh, working in art galleries early on, and uh, learned the art business through art galleries and packaging and shipping and hanging of shows and mopping the floors and cleaning the toilets in art galleries. And eventually um, I decided to stop making my bosses rich and that I should take my work ethic and apply it towards my own art career. And so um, I had my first major show when I was uh, 24 years old. And uh, it's the rest is history, you know, so. Because you're currently in galleries around the West and beyond, right? Yeah, there's about seven galleries that, that, that uh, have my paintings uh, uh, around the country from like uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Chicago, Scottsdale, uh, New Mexico, Denver. And uh, I'm currently looking for a gallery in the uh, LA area. And uh, so I'm, I'm, you're shuffling galleries a lot. You're pulling out of galleries and getting new galleries and keeping things fresh. Because so. you haven't always lived in this part of the country here, northern New Mexico, southern Colorado, have you? No, uh, I was born in Santa Fe, and uh, my father was a cowboy up in, um, up in Blanca uh, f for the Mizukami brothers, and uh, he met my mother down in Española, and so uh, I've been in this area one way or the other. My father used to get his hair cut across the street back in the 50s, so, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, what I call nostalgic history here. Uh, but I didn't move to this area until about 2001, which uh, that move uh, happened when I was in Chicago, and then I moved down here. So you've kind of come full circle back to this part of the, I have. the west? I have. Yeah, the I have. And this is the longest I've ever lived in one place. Uh, typically, I've moved every two or three years from, from uh, uh, places that I start working, and then I get involved with the communities, and then I, and then I leave. And um, <coughs> so, so now I'm... Uh, I'm here now. I mean, I don't know for how long, but uh, started Ventero Open yeah, Press about about, about five years ago. Uh, we started doing construction on this building. It was a it was a falling down, uh, decrepit building with a burnt out upstairs, and and uh, three years of in kind contributions and me and the landlord showing up on Fridays and Saturdays in the evenings. Uh, with hammer in hand and drills, you know, we've we made this place what it is. And what uh, is it? It's an inspiration, but tell us what it is. Um, it's 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 hard to describe Ventero uh, as as a business because we have about ten different revenue streams here. But what we do uh, on a regular basis is raise money through those ten revenue streams to uh, help support art education and art education, whether it's in the public schools or if we're educating students here or if we're working with Adams State College and, and they have some interns that they want to send over here. So it's all levels of art education. Um, we just had a group in from PALS, uh, which is a La Puente group, 
And the PALS group, I believe, is like any, any, anybody from seven to eight years old. And we had 12 of their students in here, and we were teaching them about painting and creativity and drawing and all that. So even though we are a fine art printmaking facility, we also teach all the fundamentals of creative uh, thought process and creative reasoning and uh, working with materials and technique and all those things, you know. So you're trying to give back the same inspiration you got from your family to the community here. Yeah, um, and uh, the family was extreme, my family was extremely supportive, but what was even more supportive were people in my life that unconditionally gave me art supplies, canvases. Uh, I was a poor art student and I didn't have anything. And, um, and so there were a number of people that stepped up and gave me just boxes of stretcher bars and canvases and things. And uh, I'm trying to return that favor.